Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Low Country Custom Boat Works. Uh, um, Aqua Sport Edition. Um, sorry I hadn't posted a whole lot here lately, it's been crazy. My uh, day job, I have a heavy haul company I've been working for for the last eight years. Got sold out to another company and uh, I chose not to uh, make the transition to the new company, so I will be starting new employment uh, Monday. Uh, a local job for a local crane company. Uh, still doing heavy haul, but also doing some crane stuff. Uh, hoping to get uh, CCO certified, to operate a crane and do some more heavy haul stuff uh, so i should be able to uh more consistently post videos in the near future and uh, be able to concentrate a little bit more on low country custom boat works getting it off the ground um, still got to build a shop all that good stuff but uh we're we're getting closer uh to getting it all off the ground uh, I officially LLC a couple of weeks ago um, because the original name was Low Country Boat Works and we got denied on the use of that name. So uh, I had to change it up a little bit to Low Country Custom Boat Works, which I think I like better because uh, uh, I'm more into custom fiberglass and restoration and custom electrical and electronics uh not your run-of-the-mill crap uh but so today is start some sanding i guess uh i had to fix the tarp again uh paint it right with a boat this big and trying to have it open uh, but one of these days, I'll have a shop and won't have to do all this aggravating this to get in and out and keep the boat dry and all that good stuff. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing just today. Uh, I'm just going to sand down these holes, clean them up, taper them back. Uh, and uh, get them ready to fill. I don't have any resin yet. I did get uh, um, a order of, of uh, fiberglass. I got 17, a roll of 1708, uh, a roll of 1708 tape for, you know, tabbing in. Um, uh, a roll of chop strand tape. Um, and let me explain. I know I said I was going to do everything in epoxy, but uh, with holes like this and this big, I'm going to have to bore them out a little bit bigger to get to fresh glass. Then I'm going to have to fill them, and then I'm going to have to cover them with a fiberglass patch. Um, 1708 is, is not as a smooth of finish. Uh, so to use chop strand matting, you have to use uh, polyester resin because of the binder and the chop strand matting. Um, uh, the, the epoxy won't dissolve the binder that's holding the chop strand matting together. And uh, for some reason, the name of the bind binding is eluding me at the moment. It's styrene yeah styrene uh but the the polyester resin and vinyl ester resin will dissolve the styrene um so what i'm gonna do is fill with a uh polyester structural repair putty uh i'll either mix up my own or they sell sell it as well actually i'll probably just sell it just for ease of use uh or, or get the stuff they sell um 
I'll fill the holes, then put a, a 1708 patch on the in, inside. And I may even do chop strand on the inside as well. Uh, because the back side of this transom from about here down, I am going to 1708 uh, over top of everything. Uh, just to give it a little more structure because the stern's a little bit uh, thin. It's, uh, I don't know, ain't but that thick. So what, a quarter inch, three eighths, something like that. Uh, so I want to add a little more structure back here, stiffen it up. Um, and on the outside, to keep it as smooth as possible, because I'm not, not wanting to put any fiberglass on the outside, uh, other than where I'm fixing spots, and then taper it back with uh, some fairing compound and have ready for paint. I want to use chop strand matting on the outside uh, uh, to just just to keep it smooth. Um, so that explained, you know, fill with polyester of structural putty, chop strand matting to go around the hole to hold the, the patch in, and uh, then 1708 on top of it. Now, the only bad spot that I've found in the entire boat is this. They cut the top of the stringer to level it for the rudder uh, shoe uh, and, and steering uh, board. It's not that bad. It's cleaned out. I got all the rod out of it. Um, it's where I think I am going to pour it instead of cutting that stringer back, put new wood, um, I've chemicaled it, ate all the rod out, washed it out real good. It's dry as it can be. Uh, so I think I'm going to pour it and then I'll put a fiber or get a fiberglass over top of it and rebed the stringer. Um, save a lot of time. Uh, uh, so, and it'll be just as strong, if not stronger, because it's going to bond better to the back of the boat. And, uh, Less wood is better to me, um, so I'm 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 pretty happy with that idea. Uh, if I, there's a problem with that that I'm not thinking of, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, I've thought about it pretty good. The way I've got it cleaned out, shine the light all in there. It's dry. There's no dark area. It's it's. I'm just gonna pour it, uh, and I'll probably pour bore those holes out where they had that board put in and pour that too because what I'll do when I put the brace back on the back for the rudder post I'm going to drill holes in the side and put a piece of aluminum angle iron on both sides to bolt the bolt through instead of bolting through the top of the stringer uh, it'll be stronger be less likely to rot because it's you know not in the top collected moisture um, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to let y'all know kind of what was going on, uh, why I haven't been posting. Uh, I haven't quit on the project. It's just uh, I was getting my two rentals ready to rent. Then then, then had the company buy out, and uh, now I'm in transition to a new job. I have to go to Rockingham uh, for three days next week for safety training and uh then come back to this grind and figure it out it's uh, home every night and i have never been home every night my entire life i grew up commercial shrimping gone and uh as soon as i got out of commercial shrimping um i i started truck driving uh did mechanicing for a few years diesel and and gas and uh decided that that wasn't what I wanted to do as employment um, and started driving a truck. Uh, and I started driving a truck in 2006, so been doing it quite a while. Um, but yeah, just like anything, new transition. 
Uh, I am still geared up to try to uh, go full time uh, working on boats. Um, but I've got to get a shop up and that's going to take me some time and a good bit of money. Uh, that I don't necessarily have to spend right now. Uh, but we're getting there. A little at a time. Get get uh, to work on this and concentrate and we'll figure it out. Alright guys, we will get back with you later. Chickens! Alright guys. Uh, I tried to uh, do some time lapse, but too much pain in the butt for me. So, with all that being said, I've got some things I'm going to show you. These are the strut plates for where the struts were bolted on the inside. And uh, I had a unique discovery. I don't know if y'all remember. Uh, I was those two little humps that were on the back corners of the boat the fiberglass humps that i didn't know what were well i cut them out and that's what was inside lead ingots so i don't know if that was factory or if somebody did that on their own i'm gonna guess that's i don't know probably 100 and 25 pounds per side let's say you know 250 some somewhere there i didn't uh haven't weighed it but anyway all right since i wasn't able to do any time lapse of me sanding i will uh, take you in here and show you around got the whole back sand it down yep see that's where those humps were and that's where that lead was right there in these corners uh, but as you can see the whole back I've sanded down, got the center pretty good. And I still got some more sanding to do, but I, and then that's where the other lead was. Uh, yep. So a little bit more sanding and it'll be ready for me to start uh, doing some work to it. Uh, gotta get some more fans or something in here i had so much fiberglass dust uh look like uh snow <laughs> um i still don't know if that gray shit's gel coat or paint or what uh it doesn't come off real easy um i'm thinking it's uh like an epoxy or type of paint like a belge paint a total boat or something uh seems to be some pretty good stuff um so i still got a little bit of that to get off i don't want to leave any of it on because like i was telling you that whole back will get uh, I'll patch all the holes and uh, then I'll put a solid layer of 1708 across the stern and then tab it in on the corners because you still got I don't know if you can tell but you got all these little holes where the trim tabs were bolted up and I want to build all that up where it's uh nice I still got a little sanding to do there where they had that built up for the rudder shoes or the rudder uh, 
whatever, stuff in boxes. Um, try to put together some more videos, but uh, I'm sure y'all don't want to watch me saying. Maybe I'll take some video of it and uh, just speed it up. Uh, time lapse, it just takes a billion pictures, and uh, then you have to put them together and then speed that up. And I, I don't know, it just seems like a pain in the butt to me. Uh, so I'm just gonna try something different uh, when it comes to the time lapse. And, um, all right, yeah, just wanted to show y'all what I had going on, what I got done. Pretty, pretty happy with uh, getting the whole back end sanded down. Ninety-nine percent. I mean, it's still got some touch up, but I had to rinse all the dust out so uh, I could see what I was doing. Um, looks good. All right.